Greetings, my lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today, I'll be eating Soylent. So I should also mention that I'm filming this Thanksgiving weekend, and I am in Grammy's sewing room, so I am not in my usual space, but yeah. Yeah, so pardon the lighting and video quality. So yeah, Soylent. This. The name Soylent comes from the movie Soylent Green, which is a movie from the 70s, for those of you that are too young to know. <laughs> and the movie took place in a post-apocalyptic America in which food was really scarce, and many people consumed Soylent Green. This is not Soylent Green, but it is called Soylent, but the idea is the same, where you can just mix this up with a little bit of water, and it's supposed to give you all the nutrition you need to survive. This is not a sponsored post, by the way. I just ordered this because I was interested. I think this is an older version. This is the powder form where you add water. And this is the newest version, and it comes in a bottle, and it's 400 kilocalories, and it just comes in this very plain, generic looking bottle. And you don't have to do any mixing for this. It's just as it is. So I'm going to make this one first. And yeah, I ordered this because I was just very curious to see what it was about. So Soylent has all the nutrition information here right there. Here's the information on the back of how to mix it. And basically you add two liters of water to it. Serve chilled. Store in fridge, always shake before serving. Consume within two days. Immediately dispose of any soil that's suspected to be rancid. Hmm, <laughs> doesn't sound too pleasant. And I must say I don't have high expectations of this tasting any good. My understanding is that this is for people that aren't interested in really eating food and they just want something that provides them nourishment. They don't need to taste good or have no pleasure in consuming food. I can't imagine. <laughs> but I'm still very curious to see what this tastes like. So let's see. So this is the zipper top. All right. It's quite heavy. It smells a little bit malty. And yeah, it doesn't smell unpleasant. And that's what it looks like. It has kind of a off-white color to it. And for my mixing vessel, I'm going to be using this. I'm just recycling an orange juice container. And it says to put half of the Soylent in here. Let's do that. So there it is. Looks a little bit like protein powder or something. And then I'm going to top it off with some water. Mmm, appetizing. Screw on the lid. And they say shake vigorously to combine. So here it is. Looks that, yeah, not too appetizing. Let's just do the shaking. <laughs> and now I'm gonna add the rest of the Soylent. All right, now I'm gonna add more water. Hmm. Do, do, do. And then shake. All right, I think that's pretty well combined. Let's see how it tastes. Got myself a glass. Mm. It doesn't look too bad. It's got a kind of a malty looking color. It's kind of frothy. There are a little bit of kind of lumps on the top, but all right, here we go. Come by. Wow. That's not very good. Mm. It actually tastes very flowery, and it has that consistency as well. It's a little bit gritty and thick, and there are a few little chunks on top. It doesn't taste at all sweetened. There's no sugar or anything in there that I can taste. If so, very little sugar. And there's no flavoring, really. It just tastes like, like pancake batter, and it doesn't have a very appealing texture. It's quite gritty on your tongue. And yeah, not very tasty. It tastes kind of like what I imagine like wallpaper paste tasting like. It's very bland and neutral tasting. Not horrible, but certainly not delicious. It does have a little bit of a malted flavor to it though. All right, let's try the liquid version. I believe this is the current version. It comes in a bottle pre-mixed. So I already really like the convenience of this. That mixing process was not so fun. I got the powder mixed everywhere and it was still a little bit lumpy. So maybe this will be better. So it does say shake it really well. I forgot to look at how much of this you're supposed to consume, but I imagine since it's in a bottle like this, this is one serving and maybe three of these a day. I don't know. Let's shake it vigorously. Seems to have the same consistency. Let's see. Hmm, very similar smell. This one smells slightly 
vanilla like it has a little bit of flavoring in it or at least scent all right so let's see oh yeah very similar viscosity this one looks a little bit lighter in color a little bit more white the other one was kind of more brownish so yeah like bran you know like bran oatmeal <laughs> go by yeah that is a bit better. So first off, the texture of this is much better. It's not so gritty on your tongue. It's much more homogenized. And second off, the flavor is much better. It tastes a little bit more like almond milk. There's a little bit of nuttiness to it. It does still feel a little bit flowery, but the flavor of this is much better, but it's certainly not delicious. <laughs> There's not much flavor to it at all, but if you're just looking for something to kind of pound and consume, all right. So if I were to compare the two glasses, you can see the difference of the two glasses. This is the newer version, the homogenized version, and this is the one that you have to mix yourself. See, chunky, not so good. Darker in color, flavor's not as good. This one's much better. So this really isn't for me, as most of you know, I really enjoy my food and sharing it with people and enjoying all the sensations that come with food and consuming it. So this really isn't for me, but if you're looking for a meal replacer or something like that, maybe this is the way to go. So what are your thoughts on Soylent? Do you find pleasure in food? Do you think it's important? Do you think this is more efficient? Yeah, let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something and I shall see you in my next video. Toulou, take care, bye. So one of the recipes that caught my attention was this one and it's called Hard Time Candy. And there's only two ingredients, Kool-Aid and hot sauce.